Oh, damn. Cleveland got jacked like that? That was a close one. Ah, my son was in the back seat. Who is she? Bro, that's straight up Max Payne. Daddy? Lois, are you using the Elmo toothbrush, which is mine? Oh, sorry, Peter. I've just been so distracted with this whole Connie thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Connie made you mistake a monster's face for the words Oral-B. Come on, Peter. I'm serious. This is a real problem. Well, if she's really ruining your life, go down to the station and talk to Joe. I'd like to report somebody using the wrong toothbrush. Have a seat, sir. Tell me everything. Gosh. Okay. You know Elmo, right? Hello, neighbors. Peter can't be serious. Sure, what? You can walk. Please, come in. Oh, Stan. I'm so glad everyone could make it. Stan, I need $50. What the hell kind of dog is that? I was going to ask the same thing. Oh, uh, that's our alien Roger, but nobody can know. Hello? Oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, you're not going to believe this. I'm over here with Joe, and he's got a space alien. I mean, Stan told him, though. He told him. Peter, wake up. Like, what'd I say? What hey, pal, what are you doing? This is our bar. Not anymore. Horace owed more than this place is worth. So it's the banks now. I'm sorry, but the drunken clam is permanently closed. Closed? That Damn. was the start of the dark times. The banks took our bars, our businesses, and then our homes. A change had to be made. A change only one man could make. I am the wind maker. And I shoot monkeys now. Hey. What was he hey, doing? Fella? Okay. What? Bye. I'm confused. Hey, what's eating you? Grown-ups. Yeah, grown-ups suck. Why do they get to make all the rules? I know it seems unfair, but hey, there ain't no rules in a tickle fight. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I'm tickled! Hey, yo. Jimmy, there you are! Who the f are you? Get away from our son! But Mr. Barrington told me to... Who's Mr. Barrington? From the club. What club? You're in a lot of trouble, mister. <laughs> yeah! What the f was Peter actually doing here? <laughs> All right, I gotta restart that scene. Hey, what's eating you? Grown ups. Yeah, grown ups suck. Why do they get to make all the rules? I know it seems unfair, but hey, there ain't no rules in a tickle fight. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I'm tickled! <laughs> Jimmy, there you are! Who the f are you? Get away from our son! But Mr. Barrington told me to- Who's Mr. Barrington? From the club. What club? You're in a lot of trouble, mister. Yeah! Are you sure about this, Peter? I mean, I know Stewie was disappointed Gosh. about the carnival, but he'll get over it. He's a happy, resilient baby. I don't know, Lois. I feel like if we don't do something, Stewie's first words are gonna be, why did you kill Christmas? And I want the carnival back, too. You know, I know I'm usually all business, but deep down, you know what the thing is that keeps me going more than anything else? Wonder. A sense of wonder. Well, you have your Whoa. work cut out for you, Peter. My, My father's always hated Christmas. Did think you could just borrow a bunch of money from a loan shark and then waste it on tacky suits? Tacky? Sir, I'll have you know I bought this in the lobby of a casino. Look, don't shoot. Tacky. You must have us confused with somebody else. Sounds like somebody wants to die. Yeah, no, no, S Stewie, just give him the money from the backpack. Okay, okay, don't shoot. What? It's empty. It's just Cheerios and coloring books. What? Where the hell's the money? Sir, we can't give you any money, but if you've got some milk and a bowl, we can give you a pretty healthy way to start your day. I say, Brian, this yeah, backpack pretty feels reasonable a bit deal. lighter than it did before. Well, I wasn't going to tell you till later, but I actually used part of my portion to take care of some personal business. All right, fine. What's happening here? Oh, shit. It's done. I knew it. Knew it. Peter, I don't think we need a donkey for this climb. Of course we don't need a donkey, Lois. It's a status thing here. You, leather man, you sell me donkey. He said leather man? Is that what he said? 
Definitely that one with the shades. I mean, he's obviously the coolest one. I don't know what it is, but you have got it. We have to chase her through a series of shots where she has an inconsistent lead on us. Yeah, that is very inconsistent. What? Yeah, this is always in movies, bro. Can you guys wrap this up? I see Peter coming with some kind of problem from the game. Quagmire, we agreed. And it was a two-hand touch. And then Chris hit me with one hand. Oh my and God. I said that didn't count. But he still wouldn't count the touchdown. So I drilled him in the head with the ball. And now he's not moving. He can blink his eyes, but nothing else. So is my dog still your dad? Uh, no. Chris, he said the touchdown counts. God. Dr. Hartman, something's Man, wrong with me. Everyone's treating me like I'm a broad. I don't know what's going on. I recognize that hysterical tone of voice. Sounds like someone's having their monthly. Yeah, get away from me, you creep! <gasps> my God, there was nothing wrong with my mirror. Everyone sees me as a woman. I've never seen this now episode. I'm, I'm gonna do things differently. Men are jerks. Let's swear off of them and find comfort in each other. Come here, you guys. Mm. Okay, he's mad about something. He appears to be talking really fast. He spits whenever he makes the ch noise, which in this language happens a lot. I'm expected to entertain him and his wife tonight, so if anyone knows a good restaurant in the area, sushi or tapas, some way they're always bringing stuff to the table, so you have something to talk about. What was he supposed you know? to be doing? Hey, what's this? This looks good. Let's see the war, oh, war, war. That last sentence was about war. <laughs> Terrible job, Peter. Oh, I remember this. really close wow the price per square foot is quite competitive they cut that so joke a little bit too area. soon yes i also love it i will likely purchase it unless others put in a rival bid well what's stopping you you know you've always been so non-committal in our relationship do you know how much it hurt my feelings when you paused before introducing me to your parents and it's the same reason you didn't take that job in denver i'm sorry i didn't mean to waste your time i just remembered my husband is a total chicken I think he's I'm taking this too far. I'm not sure what we're doing anymore. Exactly. I have a credit card. All right. A lot of cool people on this route. Peter, give me the credit card. How'd you find out? The UPS guy from earlier? Snitch. Sorry, Peter. New rule. I, I have to report any adults bragging about having a credit card. But, but you said I was cool. Did you even mean it? No. Did you even mean it? The real reason I ran over here is because why was he in I the house though? This. There's my little Lois. What? Lois? Oh my god. He just kissed his mom. Exactly. Oh my god, Stewie, what happened? None of your business what happened! Jeez, you kiss your mother with that mouth? Hired the finest builder in Greece to make us a giant wooden horse. We'll hide inside it. They'll take it in as a gift. And then we spring out and destroy the city. Well, that sounds great, but there's another door right here that's just beads. What? Yeah, just beads. See? Oh, boy. This... This is gonna be a difficult phone call. Let's go! Let's go! This needs to be done yesterday! Hello! Oh, giant I gotta horse have company, fucking phones. pay on delivery, no deposit required. Can I help you? What?! Chris, I see in the paper that Vietnam is still going on, and as a blue-collar TV dad, I demand you enlist. Peter, you can't send Chris to Vietnam. They're bombing women and children. You have no idea how bad it is over there. I don't. Oh, I know war, my friend. I stormed the beaches at Normandy. Ah! Of course, it was 1958, so the resistance wasn't quite as stiff. No running. I said no running. I'm not running. 
Once a griffin hits puberty, they turn into a full-blown bozo. Bozo the clown? Yes, of course, Bozo the Clown. What other Bozos are there? I don't know. Bozo the tax accountant? Well, the good news is, since you do a sex advice podcast, which I really like, by the way, every time you... It's a write-off. Really? Oh, yeah. And not just... Also... And even... Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? I would hire him. I want to watch my I would definitely hire him. <laughs> I think I did pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. That shit was really funny when the parents came and he's like, What do you mean? Who is this person you're talking about? I thought that was hilarious. But let me know where you guys broke. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And your boy will be back with some more reactions, man. Peace!